I've been listening and there's a lot of conversation about behavior change and um, I can't help but wonder about the ethics around that choice. Even the phrase make people happy sort of smacks of a certain amount of control. And I was wondering how um, you think about the user's uh, right to choose their experience and whether the fact that manipulating emotions um, m might have some ethical question, especially when you're looking to do it on the employer's benefit as opposed to the end users, or even as the end users. Thank you, an important question. So this is actually kind of similar to, uh, to, to where gamification can backfire, right? Um, there are absolutely ethical questions and, and it comes down to the, the fact that if you're not helping somebody along a path that they want to go, if you don't understand their goals and their, their hopes and their desires and, and, and if you're not driving that, then there's no reason for them to use your product. There's no reason for them to come back. Um, and, they, and, and any kind of nudges are gonna seem just completely off base, right? Um, like the blogs that use gamification and, you're, and, and, and you know try and use it as a one size fits all tool for driving behavior and you get there and it's like, wow, I have a badge in a profile on this blog, and you know, I'm I'm really becoming a better person. Seventy percent, seventy percent, so <laughs> right? close. almost. Um, but absolutely, if you're if you're nudging people to to do something for the wrong reason or that actually isn't good for them, then um, you know that's that's certainly an ethical issue. That uh, uh, your, if your users don't call you out on it, then hopefully you, you you stop before that. I think that's an excellent question that you pose as well, and it also brings up another question that I have, is that is it paramount that the things that we make make people happy? Or is it paramount that the things that we design so well should be invisible that allow people to get back to their lives and, and foraging their own happiness? Should these products and services and platforms that we make, I mean, if we're talking about users' happiness, it sounds like we're trying to make us happy in which that's, that, that's not, you know, those are two different things. So. I, I, I have questions about that too. Should, if I design something, if I do my job correctly, you really shouldn't know that anything has happened. You should just be like, wow, like I have 15 extra minutes in my day, or I you know, got to see my kids more, I, I, I ran an extra mile. I, it, it just, I, I, I have the same questions you do, so I'm, we're, we're unpacking it slowly together. <laughs> there's, one, there's one catch to that though too. No design decision is benign. It either thwarts right. or facilitates well-being somewhere down the road. And again, depending on where you believe uh, happiness or well-being goes, a medical model, a hedonic model, a eudaimonic model, it all comes down to well-being at the end of the day. Everything we interact with, all the digital technologies, all our interpersonal relationships that we have, they're all dialogues. They all affect our well-being in one way or another. So I would pose the question of, are the pro if the product and service that we are designing does not contribute to the well-being of the individuals, groups, or populations that are interacting with it, does it deserve to exist? That's a question I take to clients all the time now. Besides, what's the line between care and control? Uh, autonomy support. If you design a product that someone is going to interact with that takes the the person in the, the bottom position, right, the person that's interacting with it, if it takes their perspective, if it allows for choice in their inputs, uh, if they can interact with it when, where, how they want, that their goals are framed as their goals, uh, that the actions that they take towards achieving those goals, and if they choose to not interact, that needs to be coded as okay. Right, so autonomy support to me is the most important thing. Yeah.